Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Doka Metal video. In this video we're going to be taking a look at the Pataria challenge for the burst mode for the blue or Super Saiyan blue Gogeta. So we've already done this one with GT bosses but we want to take a look at how to beat it with Pataria. Now there's a slight change, we've obviously increased the difficulty, added a bit more attack to the boss and we're prioritizing having int and physical types much like the GT bosses run. We've also reduced our key a little bit more to compensate for the slightly better linking partners that we do have, as well as the fact that we, you know, essentially have a couple orb changes and some supports floating around. Now, in terms of team, um, you can maybe do without the third year LR. Uh, however, I do find them to be super duper helpful, if not for anything, more so for their heal, uh, which is a very big mechanic. So I suggest bringing them as your friend lead uh, and then building out from there. There's some really good units that aren't on this team, you know, Merge Samasu, Rose Masu, uh, a whole bunch of really good units like that. Uh, so, you know, take your pick, adjust the team as need be. I would include them if you want to. You do have the space in your team cast. Now, the premise of this build is relatively straightforward. Uh, two rotations, both rotations should hopefully have a third year LR on them. If they do not have a third year LR on them, then you're going to want to uh, prioritize whatever the secondary character you chose is. Uh, that should generally get you somewhere. Uh, in terms of units, uh, Blue Vegito is a great one to keep on rotation and Physical Vegito or Super Vegito is also a great unit to keep on rotation. Again, big you know, reason for this is just due to the fact that they don't take a lot of damage from normals. Uh, they can't take damage from normals so yes, the super attack is going to give you issues, but beyond that, they just can't really take any damage. So it's better to prioritize having them on rotation and just allowing them to be pretty solid defensive options. Now the you know, team's gonna rely on crits. Crits are going to be a pretty crucial component when we look at the you know, ability of the team to do the damage and to beat the bosses. Um, especially during these strength phases, you're going to rely on crits. Those are going to be pretty crucial. So things like counters, things like you know, Blue Vegito firing off a super attack that gets a crit, uh, and just in general, like a lot of these units getting off crits and you know, doing their thing is very, very important when we're trying to assess you know, how to beat the stage. The Gogeta has four phases, strength, int, then you go into a AGL phase and then you go back to a strength phase. Now it's not a, yeah, the AGL phase can sometimes give you issues. Most times right up till the final strength phase, you're generally fine. Um, the AGL phase obviously being type neutral, you don't really have a lot of options to work around avoiding damage. Uh, so most times you're just relying on getting a little bit lucky when it comes to evasion, which you can see obviously we did there. Uh, you don't need to get lucky, it just does help to not take a huge chunk of damage uh, going into the you know, final phases. Now the team build, uh, pretty decent functionally. Uh, obviously we have the int baseline Vegeta, a very solid uh, just kind of supporting damage dealing unit. Uh, we have Zawasu Gamasu, or Gowasu Zamasu, thank you, uh, who's a very good support slash evasion unit. Always floating that unit. Uh, Vegito, you can choose whether to float the int one or the physical one. Um, it just depends on how much you want to gamble on a super. Both will take decent damage from a super, but Vegito will take a lot more damage. Then the int units, uh, obviously the third year allows, like I said, stay on rotation. Kefla, you're going to float, allow her to stack during the int phase if possible. Uh, that does help her out generally. And physical Vegito, you're going to keep on rotation. Yes, it's a gamble to keep physical Vegito on rotation. Uh, but it's a gamble well worth taking. Um, you know, yes, he could be super, but most of the times he'll just take no damage and set up the rest of your team pretty nicely. Uh, I like to run him in the second slot, depending on how many attacks they are. And generally speaking, we tend to sit quite nicely. You can see that we're pretty low on health. Uh, it is a pretty, you know, was a pretty tight run. Uh, you can see we got the 70% evasion chance twice. Uh, so Zamasu and Gowasu, Gowasu and Zamasu really coming in handy there. Then we get the full heal and basically that means everything's wrapped up because now we are just going to auto counter him and we should win pretty easily. Um, so yeah, it was a pretty fun challenge. Is this one more accessible than GT bosses? Probably, just depends on if you've got the third year LR. 
uh, or Kefla or one of those. Now Kefla you can get with a redstone so that does help uh, and yeah we should have hopefully enough options uh, to run this team. But yeah that's basically going to be it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did of course please leave a like otherwise I will see you guys in the next one. Uh, as always it's great to show you guys different builds. I hope you enjoy them uh, and yeah I will definitely be seeing you guys in the next video so enjoy and give me a shout if you need any more help down below in the comments but that's going to be it for the azure omnipotence pretty much everything sorted and done and yeah that's it for this burst mode cheers see you next time bye